All right. Let's do the DLC now. Starting with Dr. Ned and Zombie Island, which I believe is Jacob's Cove. So I think there's a cutscene for this. Maybe. Maybe not. No, we're spawning right in? Oh, there's a... Okay. Oh my god, a cutscene in 30 FPS. My favorite. The zombie Island of Dr. Ned. Okay. This is kind of cheesy. A dark and stormy night. Sheesh. <laughs> in a distant corner of Pandora. Where few men dare to tread. With the journey to find the elusive vault behind them, our fearless adventurers set off into the trees of. What's a tree? Oh, for the <laughs> angel's sake! It's a plant that grows out of the ground really tall. Like this? No more interruptions. I like this guy. <clears throat> I like this kid. So, He's awesome. They set out into the trees of Jacob's Cove. Jacobs. Land very much ravaged and forgotten by time. It was here that the scientist Dr. Ney, who is totally not Dr. Z from the last story at all, tried to help all of mankind. But ultimately, he's got the mustache. Dead shit. That's a swear. Dude made zombies, okay? <laughs> You're not the police. Pay attention. Okay. So Legit, Marcus is how I feel any time I live stream or do anything. Because all my audience is just kids. That's a swear. Yes. <laughs> this is so true. It's so relatable. I'm sorry, not sorry. You're adopted. <laughs> I gotta start telling people that from now on. Just whenever people show up to my streams, you're adopted. Also, how the fuck did we get up here? How do people get there? Dude, this game is confusing already, and we just started. All right, I don't know what the point of us being here is. Awesome. Jacobs. I can't. I should warn you though that they'll suck your brain out of your cranial cavity like a crappuccino if you get too close. Jesus Christ. Crappuccino. That used to be the old McCafe things. But then their McCafe beverages got very good. Let me in. Okay, they won't let me in. Guess I gotta go around. I do like the ambient music in the back, though. I am definitely getting Halloween vibes. More like, um... I guess the best Halloween vibes I can think of are like the, uh, oh, they're level 35, finally. Bit more of a challenge. Click to the zombie brain, don't know what that does. Don't know why I'm killing these guys. Not really a point, if you ask me, but doing it anyways, like I said. At least if any of these guys touch me, it's just like, it's kind of all over, because of my Phoenix ability. I'm so beyond overpowered with Phoenix. See? Told you. What was I talking about this? Oh yeah, so this, I guess, horror vibe that I'm getting right now is, uh... A lot more reminiscent to like, uh, what is it, the scary godmother thing that you see on Cartoon Network a lot. That was for some times, can I just say, but that was, it's, it's almost fall, like right now I'm recording this, it's like the 16th. It's almost the 21st, which is officially the beginning of, uh, what the fuck is happening here? Uh, which is like, the 21st is officially the beginning of fall. So, not too worried in terms of doing this early, but uh, I do low-key kind of want to watch the Scary Godmother uh, Halloween thing. That was a time. Don't hit me. I did not consent. I turn on the turrets. Gotta just do my job. I'm glad the DLC scales though, because I remember playing this at like, you could start this DLC at like level, I don't know. 
Level 10? Not even? Yeah, you could start this DLC at like level 5 if you wanted to. Alright, Dr. Ned. No quests. Okay. Dr. Ned? Oh, I'm sure he could. Open up my fucking gate. Hurry up! There you are. Could have gone around, I think. Well, maybe not. Really too bad that another poor adventurer is going to be zombie food. Uh, did they tell that to my double anarchy that I have? And... Oh. oh, you know the drill. So no, I wanted you to say the thing. Say, Damn it. Damn. I really wanted him to say the thing. He didn't say the thing. Ooh. I already have a Tempest class mod, though. Yeah, that's a real shame. Oh, well. All right. Dr. Ned. Oh, doctor is not in. Hello, yeah. sir. Are these rack? Quote, unquote, rack. Corpse eaters. You really gonna try this? At least I get a ton of XP from them. So I gotta contact Dr. Ned then. Just seems to be over here. I'm gonna go around. Fearless zombie killer. New missions are available at the Jacob's oh, Fucking really? Board. Fine, I'll grab the bounties. Gives me more of a 100% thing in this game, I guess. Just wait until I gotta fight Cromorax, man. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Everybody doing the clap trap. Let's kick a zombie for the thrill. Let's go pumpkin head. I'd buy his mixtape. I'd buy it. Honestly. Wait a minute, can I get up there? I don't think I can get up there. That's a real shame. That is a real shame, though. But hey, we're almost 37. What I want to do is get enough gear, or a good amount of gear, so that we can start off the uh, the true Vault Hunter playthrough 2 at a good point. I like a good setting, so... Uh, I think that's the big plan, at least for me now. While doing these DLC things. <laughs> doing these DLC playthroughs getting things done and getting things prepped for when we come back to this game in the future. Is it, is it really worth getting these zombie brains? Boop! I'm gonna boop you. Dude, the defiler's making me run slow. Don't do it. I want to run fast. At least I can just you know, burn through this stuff. At least it's zombies, not actual, like, people with weapons. Hollow's End. I know I probably shouldn't be doing this DLC stuff, but I'm doing it anyways, okay? When I mean DLC stuff, I mean like extra missions and you know, stuff that people don't want people to do. I'm just going to enjoy this game while it lasts. I'm very much going to enjoy it while it lasts. Any zombies nearby want to give me a uh, speed boost? Really appreciate it. See? You got a free level up. And they're probably gonna burn to death. Oh, look at that! They did! Whoa! I just gotta run past them. Like that. I think I went a bit too fast. Oh my god, a suicide zombie. Thank god we got all this, like... What is what is the name of this ability that I got? Intuition? Because I have plus two intuition, plus the maxed out that I have. Pretty proud of it. Alright. Gotta fight the uh, jack o' lantern king thing. I'm gonna take more cooldown. 
What's up? Why'd you spit on me? What'd I do to you? Oh shit. This is doing a shit ton of damage to you. Okay, so he doesn't take any elemental damage. That is cool to know. He is immune to the elements. He really only takes a lot of damage if you aim at his head. But luckily, I don't have to aim. I have double anarchy. Glorious Havoc. I'll just grab it. Brain. Well, that was a cool bounty. What's the next one we gotta do? Get Marcus a shipment of corpse eater eggs. Just a torso? Damn. Oh, okay. Just drop in high level rocket launches for me? I see how it is. Now I guess we gotta go this way. I'm so glad we're investing in all this intuition and being able to go faster. Because traveling in this game can either be a very big hit or miss. I remember originally playing through this DLC and doing a bit of a live stream with it, like, I think, two years back? And it took a little while for me to get through these different parts. So thank God for being able to go fast. That is not where I'm supposed to go. I went the wrong way. Luckily, I can just go fast. Wait a minute. That leads me out of here. Is there any other thing that I got to do nearby? Missing Hank Reese? Oh, these are just... I'm just going to go and do the House of the Ned thing. Since I'm near here. Oh, well, I guess I can't go up there. I'm wasting this much ammo on zombies. Usually that's not wise to do in zombie apocalypses. In a zombie apocalypse. You always aim for the head. Oh my god. Wow, that suicide zombie's very quick. Alright, how do we get up here? up this way. Yeah, that makes sense. Jack-o'-lantern. Low-key, I really want to do some sort of jack-o'-lantern carving this, um, this Halloween. Now that I sort of have time and I'm doing YouTube, which is, which is technically being unemployed, if you think about it. Uh, I have time to do stuff like that. So I was kind of thinking, like, that would be kind of fun. Do a jack o' lantern? I'm thinking of doing the hash slinging slasher design. I saw it on Twitter somewhere where you like light it up in the dark and it makes the actual like evil design, but it's actually just the guy that wants a job. It's Dr. Ned. Hi. He's doing a ton of damage here. So many enemies. Don't I have like a challenge of killing like 25 enemies back to back in a short amount of time? Conveyor of death. That's what it was. I just got it. Well, killing more enemies. I did not mean to get sent down here. I just got yeeted down here, and I didn't even mean to go down here. Fuck this game. <laughs> and a random Iridian weapon here. Okay. My ball blaster. Is that where we got three... That, that, we got that from three toes. Or nine toes. It's the same thing. Same person. Damn it! I gotta go all the way back? Damn. This game, man. I also need ammo. Oh, 
Almost. I'm getting there. Yeah, I Get know you did. On.